As all of you no doubt know by now, we're in the midst of yet another left-wing book burning with thousands of conservative and right-leaning YouTube channels having their livelihoods taken away from them or their channels just outright banned. We discussed the absurd New York Times hit piece on right-leaning YouTubers at length during the live stream on Saturday. If you missed it, make sure to go back and check out the replay. If there's any actual Nazi channels being taken down by YouTube, I wouldn't know, but it seems like anyone to the right of the Young Turks is being targeted. Of course, the media is now using this to advance their narrative that anybody who disagrees with them is a Nazi. And that was the tone of a CNN panel yesterday where they debated the idea of censoring quote, terrible speech. And after you see this, you'll notice that there's absolutely no mention whatsoever of the fact that moderate to slightly right of center people are the ones being targeted and silenced. This week, it's been YouTube announcing they're going to ban white supremacist content, not Nazi content. Uh, also videos denying proven atrocities like the Holocaust and the Sandy Hook shooting. But that's really strange because the Young Turks still continue to be monetized and have a channel, even though that channel is named after a political movement that carried out the Armenian genocide. I could be wrong, but doesn't Sank Uger deny that the Armenian genocide took place? Notice how they claim that it's only white supremacist channels being targeted. Why not black supremacist channels? I'm aware of several big black supremacist channels that do nothing but produce videos that claim whites are subhuman race of people that should either be wiped out or enslaved. No, it's pretty clear at this point that any channel that questions left-wing orthodoxy concerning race or gender, religion, or social systems is going to fall under that umbrella of white supremacist. This really shouldn't surprise anyone since we're now living in a world where this guy can be labeled a white supremacist. We're also living in a world where this guy has been targeted by these same forces and demonetized in the hopes that I'll just give up and go away. Not bloody likely. Because of this, I require the support of people like you to continue producing content for this channel. I have a passion that drives me to do this, but it's time consuming and as we all know, time is money. If you would like to support me and help this channel grow, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just donating to me on PayPal. And since my YouTube channel could literally just disappear at any moment, head on over to BitChute and subscribe to my channel there. I will be producing exclusive content that you won't see anywhere else. Thanks. Um, I find it particularly jarring, though, that the people begging corporations to censor this are mostly journalists. Are journalists begging or are they calling out extremist mm -hmm. content yeah. on the platforms? Amazingly, one person on that panel had the balls to call out the fact that it's left-wing so-called journalists who are leading this charge to get big corporations to silence their competition. Little Brian Stelter even instinctively executes his NPC programming to spin their nefarious censorship as something virtuous. No, Brian, what they're doing is labeling their political opposition extremists to avoid ever having to actually win a debate in their arena of ideas. You see, on YouTube, the right is obliterating the left in the arena of ideas. All the right-leaning channels are the most popular, and they always come out looking better than the left in debate. That's why left-wingers don't like to talk or debate when you interview them at protests. Sure, they can wave signs and chant slogans, but they're not so good at actually defending their positions. We have a similar situation at CNN where they're getting destroyed in the ratings and thus must now demonize and attempt to censor their opposition. But, but, but journalists but, exercise editorial judgment every time. day. Sure. That's not censorship. That's no. deciding what's good quality content and what's incitement. What's good quality content? Is doctoring footage of Trump so you can lie about what he said considered good quality? Is misrepresenting events to suit your political narrative considered good quality? And what about incitement? You mean like promoting and defending violent left-wing terrorist groups? CNN literally produced a show where they framed a violent nutcase with weapons as some sort of a viable response to political opposition. Oh. I love that these are, uh... I know. I like that. <laughs> Can I put your time on? Yeah. I, to... okay. I usually have a couple of those on me just in case. Just, uh, just in case. Naturally, none of this even begins to cross the mind of this dope. In her mind, anybody who opposes the left or opposes CNN is automatically put in the category of right-wing extremist monster. And anything goes when you're standing up against monsters. Excellent reporting and studies in the last week. A lot of it published in the New York Times. Yep. Under even this more speech, the recommendation engine of YouTube is driving people towards ever more extreme content. I'm going to end this video on this last bit of dumb fuckery. The New York Times piece that she's referencing is a steaming pile of stinking bullshit. 
It's pure propaganda, meant to demonize their business competitors and their political opposition as a gateway to the Nazi party. It's the completely contrived story of some white guy who was allegedly radicalized by quote far-right YouTube channels like Steven Crowder and Philip DeFranco and was eventually saved by the superior and virtuous left-wing YouTube. It's even crazier than it sounds, but you should check out our hour-long live stream on the topic from Saturday night. I'm also doing an exclusive BitChute review of that article, so head on over there and check that out. That's all I got for you today, folks. Make sure to like and share, and I'll see you next time.